pick this up. Four bucks. Zippo. Cool, huh? Even got a flint. All it needs is some fluid. I collect Zippos too. Today, I'm gonna take this Zippo apart, clean it up. And according to the numbers, the L and X, it was made in December of 94. I love the Zippo company. They now own case knives, but I just love the story behind them. But we're going to take this bad boy apart. And uh, it'll light right now, but it's hard to light. And I think it has something to do with that wick. I'm either going to pull that wick out and clip it where it's new down in here. Or I always keep the Zippo parts on hand. I got some flints. We're going to change out the flint. Put some more fluid to it. And uh, add this wick if we need it. But hopefully we won't. So we're going to take this thing apart. There's the flint right there. The flint looks good. Get a little screwdriver here. I don't know if you have ever seen one packed. But they just pack it with cotton is all they do. It holds the fluid. And there's a wick down in here. And it looks good too. So what I'm going to do is pull that wick up. See it right there? There's the wick right there. So I'm gonna pull this wick up. See how bad that looks right right there? I'm gonna pull it up where it's new and cut it. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. It's, it, it, it'll light, but it don't wanna light real good. And I, uh oh, I just pulled it all the way out. But it don't wanna light real good. So I'm gonna cut it right there where it'll be a new wick. Get my right in there. Straighten it out a little bit. I think that's good. I'm just going to start putting the cotton back down in there. back down in here. The flint looks good. Once I get this put back together, we're going to see if it's going to light good. It just wasn't wanting to light good yesterday, and I think it has a lot to do with that wick right there. It's just old and nasty. Alright, let's get this thing back together. I'm sure I don't have it. It's lighting. It's lighting better. Might be because it's, it's dirty down here too. See all that dirt down here. That could be a lot to do with it, too, or that flame ain't getting up in there real good. So 
Get on that. Just dirt. I guarantee you though. I guarantee you that dirt has a lot to do with the lighting. Oh yeah, see there? There's still a little bit of grime right here. See it right there? Oh yeah, awesome. I love to work on these too. My dad used to smoke Camel non-filter cigarettes and he had a, a Zippo, a, a silver one. And he'd buy a, a, a new one from time to time. And the smell of that lighting up and the smell of that uh, non-filter Camel I enjoyed it. I really do. Um, or I really did. I don't like, I don't smoke or anything, but I just, I just have a thing for them. I have a thing for Zippos. Now, when I was in the Marine Corps over in the Mediterranean, I went to the Mediterranean twice. They sold these in the ship store. Now, I was on the USS Saipan, my first med float, and the second med float, I was on the USS Whidbey Island. Um, but you could buy these in the ship store and take them out in town in France and uh, the Italy, Spain, anywhere in the med. They would trade you by anything for a Zippo. Because I don't guess they could buy them over there. But, uh, but they were, they would trade you anything for a Zippo. Awesome. Let's clean it up now. cleaned it up i'm gonna leave it with a little bit of gold on there it looks good it's cleaned up now i'm gonna put never dull on it shine it up even more some good stuff you know george blaisdell he uh invented the the zippo he founded the Zippo Manufacturing Company in 1932 and made the first Zippo lighter in early 1933. It sure cleaned up good. A lot better shape than when I found her. But for four bucks, it's a good buy. Anyway, guys, just want to share this. My love of, of Zippos and knives. But uh, I like to find these and, and work on them too. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank y'all again for, for tuning in, whether it be morning, afternoon, or the evening. I appreciate the support. And remember, guys, always be like a good knife. Stay sharp. Stay sharp mentally, physically, and spiritually. Y'all have a great day. But don't give up. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright.